Hello, amazing viewers. I'm Manuin from AutoGPT Tutorials, and I'm thrilled to have you back for another exploration into the fascinating world of technology. Today's video is packed with incredible projects that are about to blow your mind. But hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, now's the perfect time. Hit that subscribe button below and join our community of tech enthusiasts. Trust me, you won't want to miss what we've got in store. All right, let's dive into today's tech adventure. Project number one, Stream Diffusion. At the forefront, we have Stream Diffusion, a game changer in real-time interactive generation. Imagine a pipeline that not only streamlines data processing with a blink, but also introduces a powerhouse of features. This innovative diffusion pipeline, hosted on GitHub, boasts a turbocharged stream batch for efficient operations, a residual classifier-free guidance system for enhanced precision, and a stochastic similarity filter optimizing GPU utilization like never before. Why does this matter? Well, it means smoother, faster, and more efficient image generation. The Stream Diffusion project is like a wizard optimizing your GPU's magic to create stunning visuals in real time. And the best part? You can dive into the demo on the project's GitHub. A real-time TXT2 IMMG example awaits, showcasing the pipeline's prowess with GPU, RTX 4090, CPU, Core i9 13900K and OS Ubuntu 22043 LTS. If you're eager to get your hands on this tech marvel, it's just a pip install Stream Diffusion away. Head over to the PyP and voila, the license details are all there in the project's repository, ensuring you're on the right side of the tech magic. Project number one takes us into the realm of real time possibilities, but stay tuned, we've got five more mind bending projects to uncover. Ready for the next one? Let's roll. Project number two, Rope. Welcome to the creative haven of project number two, Rope. Crafted by Hillabar and available on GitHub, Rope is not your average project. It's a GUI focused Rope designed for one thing, bringing your wildest creative visions to life. How? Brace yourselves for features that read like a dream. Lightning speed face swapping, upscalers, likeness modifiers, masks, borders, and a bag full of goodies that make it the fastest face swapper in the tech town. Now, why should you care about face swapping technology? Well, imagine being able to create realistic and entertaining content without breaking a sweat. Rope allows you to play with face swapping, orientation management, masks, and even auto occlusion. It's not just a project, it's a portal to a realm where creativity meets technology. Getting your hands on Rope is a breeze. Just hop over to its GitHub repository and there you have it a creative powerhouse at your fingertips. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. The author stresses that rope is meant for responsible and ethical use only. Make sure you're on the right side of the creative wave. Project number two is all about unleashing your creative side, but we're just getting started. Ready for the next project that will redefine how you evaluate large language models? Let's dive in. Project number three, Prompt Bench. Here we are at project number three, Prompt Bench, a PyTorch-based Python package that puts the spotlight on evaluating large language models, LLMs. Authored by Microsoft and hosted on GitHub, Prompt Bench is your go-to toolkit for a unified evaluation framework. Why is it a game changer? Let's explore. Prompt Bench makes evaluating large language models a breeze. Imagine quickly assessing model performance, implementing prompt engineering methods, and even simulating black box adversarial prompt attacks. It's your one-stop shop for dynamic evaluation to ensure robustness against potential test data contamination. Ready to harness the power of Prompt Bench? Head over to its GitHub repository, and with a simple pip install Prompt Bench, you're set. The project provides a technical report, comprehensive documentation, and even a leaderboard. This isn't just a toolkit, it's a game changer for language model evaluation. As we wrap up project number three, think about the impact of robust language model evaluation. And guess what? We're just halfway through our tech adventure. Buckle up for the next project that will transform the way you present yourself. Reactive Resume. Project number four. Reactive Resume. Let's move to project number four. Reactive Resume. A game-changing open source tool for crafting your professional story. Created by Amruth Pillai. This project lets you take control of your resume like never before. Let's delve into what makes Reactive Resume a must-have in your tech toolkit. Reactive Resume is not your average resume builder. 
it's a powerful platform for creating, updating, and sharing resumes effortlessly. With features like real-time editing, dozens of templates, and drag-and-drop customization, it's designed to make your resume building experience seamless. What sets Reactive Resume apart is its integration with OpenAI, enhancing your writing and making your resume stand out. Imagine using AI to craft compelling content and leaving a lasting impression on potential employers. Reactive Resume turns that imagination into reality, ready to revolutionize your resume. Installing Reactive. Resume is a breeze, a simple pip install Reactive Resume, and you're on your way. It's not just about resumes, it's about making a statement. Head over to the GitHub repository, explore the features, and let your resume shine. Concerned about privacy? Fear not. Reactive. Resume is committed to user privacy with zero tracking or advertising. This passion project spans over three years of hard work, and it's all about empowering you to own your data completely, your resume, your control. As we conclude project number four, think about the impact of presenting your professional journey with style and simplicity. Ready for more? Our next project is all about voice cloning and innovative audio synthesis, the CV Voice Clone Tool. Stay tuned. Project number five, CV Voice Clone Tool. Get ready for project number five, the CV Voice Clone Tool. Authored by Jian Chong, this tool brings an exciting twist to audio synthesis and voice cloning. Let's dive into the fascinating world of sound cloning and vocal transformations. The CV Voice Clone Tool is your go-to solution for voice cloning and audio synthesis. With a user-friendly web interface, it lets you use any human voice to synthesize text or convert one voice into another. Now, let's explore its key features and how it opens up a realm of creative possibilities. Ease of use is a top priority for this tool. Even without an N-Series GPU, it provides a seamless experience. The web interface simplifies the process, allowing you to record audio using your voice or any sound. It's like having a sound studio at your fingertips. Transformative features include the ability to convert one voice into another, using the selected voice. Additionally, the tool can synthesize text into a voice, adding a unique layer to your audio projects. It's a versatile tool for anyone venturing into sound design or creative audio applications. For those eager to explore, the CV Voice Clone Tool is hosted on GitHub. You can access the tool's repository, discover the underlying code, and even contribute to its development open source innovation at its finest. As we wrap up project number five, envision the possibilities of creative audio synthesis and voice manipulation. Curious for more? Our next project, Hey Note, offers a dedicated scratch pad for developers. Stay tuned for the coding revolution. Project number six, Hey Note. Buckle up for project number six, Hey Note. Authored by Heyman, this project is a dedicated scratch pad designed to elevate your coding experience. Imagine a large, persistent text buffer where you can jot down ideas, code snippets, or anything you fancy. Let's explore the features that make HeyNote a game changer for developers. At its core, HeyNote is a versatile coding companion. Its persistent text buffer is divided into blocks, each customizable with its language set, JavaScript, JSON, Markdown, and more. Let's delve into the features that make Heynote a must-have for developers seeking an efficient and user-friendly coding environment. Heynote's organization revolves around blocks, offering a structured approach to your coding endeavors. Each block can have its language set, providing syntax highlighting and enabling you to auto-format responses. It's a boon for those who appreciate a well-organized coding workspace. Enhancing your coding efficiency, Heynote supports multi-cursor editing. Whether you prefer dark or light themes, the platform offers customization options to suit your visual preferences. It's a coding playground where you're in control of the aesthetics and functionality. Efficiency meets convenience with Heynote's global hotkey feature. Set a hotkey to show hide the app, ensuring quick access whenever inspiration strikes. Heynote is designed to seamlessly integrate into your workflow, providing instant access to your coding canvas. Heynote is more than a tool. It's a collaborative effort. Authored by Heyman, the project is available for free on GitHub. Explore the open source repository, contribute to the code, and be part of a community-driven initiative shaping the future of coding tools. All right, fantastic viewers, we've embarked on an incredible journey exploring six cutting-edge projects today. From Stream Diffusion to Heynote, 
each project offers a unique set of tools and features to elevate your experience. I hope you found these tutorials insightful and practical for your coding endeavors. Now it's your turn. Which project intrigued you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit that like button. It really makes a difference. For more exciting tutorials and tech insights, remember to subscribe to AutoGPT Tutorials. Your support fuels the creation of more quality content. Stay curious, keep coding, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy coding, everyone.